Hello people of Twitch and YouTube and the internet in general. I'm here to work on some more cards. I know we worked on these, I believe, on Friday. And I got so excited that I made, got all the 20 uh, Santa cards, got the fronts done. So my boyfriend cut out these little white strips and the sparkly blue strips of paper for me, which was like super sweet and saved me a lot of time. And then I just stamped them and colored them with these bad boys. They're um, hybrid dual metallics. And I believe they're Pentels. So, yeah. They're really cool. Really nice pens. And they also sparkle. So I used the... It says here I used the metallic pink, which looks kind of... It's pink and metallic pink on different papers. So, but... It, because there's pink in here, like right here, it matches pretty well. And then I use like little sparkly green for the leaves and some orangey yellows for the berries, just so that it wouldn't blend in with the little sentiment right here. So we're going to stamp the insides of these with some snowflake stamps. And then we're going to stamp the envelopes today. So I know today was kind of an unscheduled stream, so hopefully you guys don't mind. I'm doing this today. I was really excited though and I wanted to make more progress so I I know I've said this before but I have a ton of uh, cards to make this year so gotta get a good start on it because it's gonna take me forever to address these um, just because uh, I write them all by hand so Set these aside, do them one at a time. So we're using this lovely Memento Dewdrop ink pad. It's a nice blue color. The ink pad is raised. So. Let's see here. I think we're going to use these two stamps like we did on the other cards. On the snowflake cards. A little bit of cat hair. No surprise there. So I uh, I made some changes to the channel. I don't know if you've noticed yet or not. I got a new uh, got a new uh, border and added some elements to the chat this time. So added some elements to chat and the images seen on your screen. So I thought that was pretty cool. I'm excited. Just stamp these away. And then if I have time today, I'm also going to work on that rainbow tree card because I believe we're going to give it away tomorrow if we get anybody in chat. So, and that's super exciting. Um, if I don't get it done by tomorrow, I'll give it away on Friday. So. Just quickly working on these. So because these are hand stamped, it really makes them one of a kind. Like not one of these is exactly the same. So if you really like the one-of-a-kind handmade feel, these cards are for you. Oh, I suppose I should show you the rainbow tree again, shouldn't I? It's on my Instagram. It's uh, Zena Jade on Instagram. I believe the tag in chat is exclamation point be social for all my links. So, well, most of my links. There are other commands you can use in chat now, too. 
One of them is cats. Gives you a quick rundown on my kitties. They like to talk during my streams and I talk about them an awful lot. They're cute and fuzzy. So cute and fuzzy and very, very sweet. We're making tracks through these cards though. It's not as time consuming as using the brush pens on these trees. So, and if you wanted to cut like a, one of these cards for Christmas, you can go to my Patreon. Um, it is again, Patreon slash Jane with Jade. So, Just opening each of these up one by one. Oh, right, Patreon. So you can support me on Patreon, and by the $5 tier, you can get uh, a card of your very own. It includes international shipping. So, and of course, domestic shipping, too. So anywhere in the U.S. I have a lot of really cool stamps, postage stamps, so I may send any that are on Patreon with a scratch and snip stamp. I think that would be pretty cool. And of course the one that I'm giving away would be a scratch and snip card or stamp too. doing this real quick like so I don't really press my stamps down on the ink pad I just kind of brush it back and forth and I don't know if you can see that real well but it leaves the like the perfect amount of ink on my stamp so I really love these memento dewdrop ink pads So, I have several really neat things on my wish list that I, that I want to get. And one of them is a die cut machine. And I think I might pick one up using a coupon at some point, maybe in January. We can actually thank my sister for these Pentel hybrids. Uh, she gave me an Amazon gift certificate and I was able to get them with that. So I have a large obsession with writing utensils. Um, very large obsession. We have Tombos and I think all the colors of Tombos except maybe some that came singly and oh gosh what other writing utensils do we have I have a bunch of jelly rolls they are super cool I've been collecting jelly rolls since the 90s before they were so cool always been obsessed with them so yeah I'll take you through the steps of how we worked on these cards so I have a um, I think you can see them in a couple episodes back this is going to be episode 5.5 .5 because it's an unscheduled episode well, we're all done with these um but basically I took a 12 by 12 sheet of paper 
and rubber cemented each of these uh, blank cards and rubber cemented this then put the card face down on the paper stuck it on there let it dry and did that because four of these cards fit on each uh, 12 by 12 inch sheet of paper so so did that and then I stand, used brush pens see if I can't find them generic brush pens they don't have any I believe they're just generic Michaels um, brush pens and use those to stamp ink up my tree stamp which you can see right here so this was pink green and then brown for the trunk and then you blow on it after you ink it up with the brush pens to re-moisturize the ink because it takes a little while to color it and then you put down your impression and then we just did making spirits merry and bright in green um, in green, let's see if I can't find it. It's Cottage Ivy in Memento Dewdrop. See? And then we did the snowflakes in blue. And then this I did in a red ink. Let's see if I can't find that one too. Rhubarb stock Memento Dewdrop. And then I colored them in with the, these Pentels. So. Oh, that's Piglet. Yep, he's making noise. He's very good at that. Put this over by the rest of them. So, I was going to break out my new Dewdrop ink pads to stamp these, but I realized that I have doubles of some of the colors and the blue that I'm using for this one is one I already had. So I didn't need to open it up after all. And that's okay. You know, if the felt tip of the stays on stamp cleaner. Kind of moving quick today. I'm really excited to get to that rainbow card too. And this stuff is just line work. You know, you just do the same thing over and over and over again. So it can be kind of repetitive. It's still a lot of fun. Uh, when I was doing the snowflake cards, I made 47 of those. And oh goodness, we have a friend. Oh, gross. I was going to try to not kill it, but not a real big fan of spiders. Not a big fan of spiders. So, all right, so now we're going to take, we did this, these two on the snowflake cards too. We did this on the backs of the envelopes on the snowflake cards in pink. These are going to be in blue. Um, so that's pretty cool. Matches, and it's going to be using the same, same blue that we used in here. Let's see. Oops, see. Pretty. So we're just going to do this 20 times. I believe there are 25 envelopes here though. So. One, two, three, four, five. Set those aside. And as you can see, I'm just brushing this against the top of the stamp. So there's that. I'm 
just a slight amount of pressure on there. And none of them are going to be exactly the same. I know there are special tools you can use to get your stamp impressions in the exact same spot every time. Um, and while I think those are really cool, it's not really my style. <laughs> I suppose if I needed to do something very precisely over and over again, I would change my tune pretty quickly. But Let's see here. Just doing this over and over and over again. Get that impression on there. So it does take, I think on most stamping projects, it does take a good amount of pressure to make sure you get a nice even impression. So you'll see me really push down in here. My hands kind of shake when I'm pushing down sometimes. I just want to make sure that all these little spokes of the snowflake get stamped on there. I, uh, when I was doing the trees with the brush pens, I didn't always push down the whole stamp hard enough. So I'd miss like this little corner. I think I did that on two of them. So, which isn't bad. I didn't think. And like 47 plus 20 cards. 67. 67 cards. I don't know. I thought it was good. Trying to math while I'm stamping. Dangerous business. Distracted. Grab one of these envelopes. So the funny part of me doing this, stamping all these envelopes, is that I actually did buy seals this year and I don't think I'm going to use them on any of these cards. Um, the seals are super pretty. I didn't bring them with me. Uh, so I can't show them to you, but there will be no room for seals on these envelopes. <laughs> I uh, thought about doing like a wax seal on these. I'd have to get like a special uh, metal stamp, like a snowflake one, I think. I think that would be pretty cool. Just working through these. Oh, hopefully. Oh, yes. Didn't quite go off the flap. I knew that one was going to be close. There. There we go. Last one. So I believe these are done except for writing inside of them. I still have to find my handmade by stamps. I have one with a little gingerbread on it. Maybe we'll do that real quick. 
I'll find that stamp and start stamping the backs of these cards. So. Roll that around a little, make sure we get all the edges clean. Let's take a look. Oh, that's pretty good. So, let's see here. I have everything buried. See, this is my new set of Dewdrop. Well, new, because I've had these forever. I just never opened the package before. Kind of silly, but yep, kind of silly. Here we go. So, this is the homemade by stamp. It's got a little gingerbread person, it's got room to write a name. Oh, it's got fur on it, of course, it does. So it's by Westwater Enterprises, 1999. <laughs> I had it for a long time. So, yeah, I've had it for a long time. Let's flip these over. I think we're going to do this in blue too. just to match the snowflakes. So I'll do that. That's pretty cute. Little homemade by. I can fill in the lettering if I want to. I probably won't. But we have to do this on all the snowflake cards too. So, which I did bring with me. One year for Christmas, several years ago, I hand cut like uh, over a hundred stars, punched them put ribbon in them and sent them along with my Christmas cards as little paper ornaments. And those were really slick. So, get these out of the way a little bit. Those are Christmas beads. I'll be making more Christmas jewelry here sooner or later. Jewelry is actually my main uh, thing. The main thing I usually do. I just wanted to get these holiday cards out of the way because they take so much time. Now there are all sorts of cool tools you can use in stamping. Like if I wanted to, I could probably use a tea ruler to keep this impression straight. I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I mean, it's not like lopsided or anything. So So we'll probably do the snowflake cards in pink, pink ink. Hopefully that'll show up okay. 
And I just kind of fell in love with the snowman. Not snowman. Santa paper. When I saw it. Like I have to do some cards in that paper. So. What's really funny is that some of these snowmen are upside down. Not snowman. Santa are upside down. And the one that's right side up is right here. Got covered up. But that's okay. So I did use double sided tape uh, to adhere those elements onto the card. They're not dimensional like the snowflakes are. But they're layered, which the snowflakes aren't. So. The ruler is falling down. Those uh, tailor's tapes, these are invaluable in jewelry making. So easy to measure jewelry. I could put a ruler across the bottom of my table. Uh, I actually had a craft table where I'd done that before, but I have since lost that table. It was kind of a shame. Accidentally got left behind in one of my moves. One more of these to go, I think. Yep. So those are all set. That's still a little wet. How much of these are still a little wet? Oh! Welcome, Frosty Helix, to the channel. Trying to clean the stamp, not ink it back up. There we go. So I'm going to have to grab the snowflake card so we can do the backs of these too. But I think I'll have to let this dry first. In the meantime, why don't we work on the rainbow card? I'll show you guys that one again. So it's just... A basic white card right now which I stamped a rainbow tree in. I used brush pens. See? I can get I can do this. So very pretty rainbow tree. Um, but we gotta get a front on it and a sentiment in it. And maybe some snowflakes all over the place, I don't know. But I was planning on using like super sparkly paper on the front of this one. Just going totally, completely sparkle paper. So that sounded like a lot of fun to me. And then maybe I could put, I guess, one of these in the middle, raised up on dots. Or, yeah. So I think that would be really pretty. Maybe we can make the snowflake rainbow too. That would be amazing. So I just grabbed my Glitzy Glitter Cardstock Stack by CDWB. Came in 24 sheets. We already used one of the sheets for uh, these guys. See how sparkly that paper is on the behind the ho ho holes? It's very pretty. So 
I'm just going to choose what color to put on the front here. Maybe one that will go well with a blue snowflake. So maybe a nice blue color. Oh, here it is. There's the blue. So maybe make the front of this card all blue. Blue glittery. Just take that right out. So like with... Make sure nothing's going to fall down here. Like with all my cards, I use rubber cement. Well, I'm pretty sure it's like all my cards. Use rubber cement to adhere them to these sheets of paper. So, and I use Elmer's rubber cement. So, it's got warnings on it. Please follow them if you decide to make cards. But we're going to put rubber cement on the front of here. up. Just put rubber cement on here. So now we can wipe off excess rubber cement with a paper towel. That's what I usually do if it goes over the edges. We're only doing this first card. I'll just put it right here. Let me grab a paper towel. Little mini sheet. I have a very small workspace today because I have stamps everywhere and finished cards everywhere, and I've been working on all the stuff and jewelry supplies everywhere. Of course, always jewelry supplies. So, just getting ready to send out holiday cards. So if you want in on the action, you can back me on Patreon, or I'll be giving away this rainbow tree on Monday or Friday, depending on when we get it done. I'll probably get it done today, but I don't want to make false promises and say we'll definitely give it away on Monday. Where are my scissors? Here we go. So these are stainless steel scissors, CraftSmart. Uh, I label them with my paper, permanent marker, paper right here. To make sure I only use them for paper, if you use them for multiple things, they tend to uh, get less sharp, lose their sharpness. Let's see how that looks. Move that paper out of the way. Well, things are falling. I have things stacked on things in here. I really need to clean off my... So this rubber cement just comes right off the edge there. So let's see, nice blue. Kind of matches the blue in the tree. So we'll get that. Yep. So let's see. I think we're going to do a blue snowflake. Blue large snowflake. Ooh, wait. Or should we do a rainbow snowflake? All right, we'll try a rainbow. We'll see if we can get this to turn out. Make sure that's dry. Yeah, that's fairly dry. So as you can see, I have like all different colors of brush pens in here. Get red, red and orange. Let's see, we got yellow. Green, blue, purple, we'll do a pink on there too. So let's see here. So we're going to be stamping onto this little square paper. Uh, my boyfriend cut these out for me too. They're two inches by two inches and they have rounded corners. We rounded the corners after we cut them out. So 
So let's start coloring the snowflake. I think I'll start here. Just go down a little. Go here. There. I may have colored too much red. All these colors. So we'll just take the orange up and over. Blend that real nice. Orange. And we'll do our yellow. Make sure I get all the snowflake yellow that I want to. And we'll do green. This may not be completely straight. Hmm, we may only have room for blue and purple and no pink. We'll see if this turns out. Might be a little lopsided. Let's see here. There's that. It's inked up now. I'm going to stamp it on this little piece of white cardstock. So because I use brush pens and individual colors, I'm going to breathe on this and re-moisturize the colors so I get a good impression on my paper. Re-moisturized. Push that down real well. Ooh, that is actually a really nice rainbow. It's not perfectly straight on the paper though, but it could do a thing. Let's do a thing. We'll see if this works. Turn this paper towel upside down. I'm going to have to clean that off. So you know we've got a little bit of snowflake along the bottom. Now it doesn't look so crooked. Make it truly handmade here. So, I want to see how that's going to look on here. What do you think? Is that good? I think it's kind of pretty. Move my thumbs out of the way. I almost want to layer it with a different color on the bottom here. So, I don't have enough room to use the paper cutter right now. I might enlist my boyfriend to help me out with this. Because he has more room than I do right now. Yeah, so the reason he's been helping me cut out all these little sheets of paper is because it saves me a lot of time and I can continue working on different elements of the cards while while he's doing that. So, I really like this rainbow snowflake. Clean up these stamps with stays on. Stamp cleaner. I don't know why it's called stays on. It should be. kind of a funny name for stamp cleaner. So, that's handy stuff. Let's see, we have to decide what color we want underneath that. And I don't think it should be glitter paper. Let's take a look here.
I have an idea. So here's a pile of scrap paper. Um, it's pretty rad keeping scraps of paper around because you can use them for other stuff. As you can see, I have scraps of the Santa paper right here. Oh my gosh, I actually called it Santa paper and not snowman paper. That is a miracle. But I also have this lovely snowflake paper right here. I think this might go really well underneath that if I can find the right color. I'm thinking like, because I've got a bunch of different scraps here. Maybe a corner piece out of here. Out of that corner. That's kind of a bluish purple. Oh. I was going to plan to turn these into bookmarks, but it won't hurt anything to use some of it for Yeah. Hey, sweetie. Can you cut me a two and a half by two and a half inch square out of this corner? I have like not enough room. The the Fiskars cutter is like this long. It's like, I'll show you in a second. It's like super long, but we'll put that right underneath the snowflake. I think that'll look really cool. Take a look here. Well, what sentiment should we put inside here? Oh, thank you. So we got that. And this. Hmm. I'll have to decide. I'm not going to hear it yet. That may be too busy, but we'll see. I might need a solid color underneath there. I don't know, I kind of like it. We'll have to see. So, which one should we put in here? I think maybe Making Spirits Merry and Bright, or we have Jingle All the Way, or We have Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, or Tis the Season to be Jolly. Maybe Happy Holidays to go with the other snowflake. These sentiments I got at Michael's in a set of five. I believe I got them last year or the year before. Michael's has some really cool stamps. Set that right there. So maybe Happy Holidays right here. Yeah, we're going to do that in blue, too, to match these little snowflakes there. Take this off. Here we go. Ready or, ready or not. Oh, that looks nice. See, happy holidays. And then I think what we're going to do is we're going to put a couple snowflakes here like we did with the other cards. So I think that'll look pretty sweet. These stamps are still too wet yet. I don't want my impressions to be watery. I'm going to set those aside. Clean off this Happy Holidays stamp. So yeah, I do this as a hobby, making cards. I've been making cards for a really long time. Um, I don't typically try to sell them anymore, but since I'm making like a ton of them anyway, I thought, well, I can offer them on my Patreon or 
Yeah, that one's fine. I wonder. I wonder if it would look better like that. Oh, I kind of like that better. Let's be moved over. I'll probably use double sided tape on this. It works really well on this. On these pieces of paper. Yeah. I think that'll be pretty sweet. So it's nearly done, but not quite. We got. We have um, 20 of these done now, and we get we finished 47 of the snowflake cards. And I'll break those out in a second, but see these are making spirits merry and bright. A little bit of fuzz flying over. That is from the cats. Oh, I can't really see it. Making spirits merry and bright. There you go. So, I've got 20 of these done. Yep. And then we got the envelope stamp too. Ooh. Stuff's flying. 20 of these envelopes done. Let's see. Yep, we can see those okay. And. We even got the backs of these stamped with a little handmade by. Yep. So it's good. We'll wait for these to dry before we do this again. I'll have to decide whether or not I want to do a solid color of this really pretty snowflake cut paper underneath. So I'm rather fond of this paper. In case you hadn't noticed, I do think I do think that snowflake turned out pretty good. It doesn't have any pink on it though. It's kind of disappointing. No room for pink. But Oh, sweet. Hi, Buzzy. I just noticed you're here. Welcome. So, it's nice to see you in chat. I don't know if you're still here or not, but it is good to see you. <laughs> So yeah, I just gotta wait for these stamps to dry. Oh, they may be dry enough now. Push aside some pens here, do some neat stuff. So I think we're gonna do these in a, should we do these in blue or pink? Hmm, blue. We'll do these in blue. There we go. Maybe one more in the corner. We'll do this one. Make this one extra special. There. And then let's see, we're gonna clean these again. And keep cleaning the stamps. Don't want the ink to get stuck on those. In the stamps. I apologize if my chat's going in and out a lot. Uh, the internet is kind of has been iffy. So if you want to watch this whole 
stream. I'm going to be uploading it to YouTube too, and there will be no interruptions there. So not to chase people off to YouTube or anything. I'd love to have you on Twitch, but yeah. And you can find me under Zenith Jade on YouTube too. But it looks pretty good. Got a rainbow tree, got a sparkly front. We have elements we're going to put on the sparkly front. So we'll get it, we'll get it sorted. I'll probably finish this one at home tonight. Because do this. Get this dried a little bit more. Okay, we're going to do this. There we go. Get this nearly done. There we go. i got to wash that one too. So I've almost always used stamp cleaner. I think you can use like an old toothbrush with some gentle soap and wash these too, but I've always used stamp cleaner. These over here to dry. There. Nope, not how I want it to go. I want it closer like that. Nope. So it's actually going to be oriented this way. And then I'll flip open. There's this on the back. I'll sign it back here with my name and the date. Probably just 2018, but that ought to be sweet. I think it's turning out to be a really cute card. I have an obsession with rainbow stuff, so it makes me really happy to have made a nice rainbow card. I'm almost wondering if this would look better with just like a plain blue snowflake. I'm going to try that out real quick. I love this rainbow snowflake and I will use it for something else right <clears throat> away if I don't use it on this card. I just think the front's kind of busy if I keep the snowflake paper. Let's see here. That one's relatively centered. What do you think of that? Is that any better? I guess I'll have to decide. Clean the stamp off. Put it down right here. Yeah. If I leave it with the blue, it'll be kind of a surprise to open it up and it be rainbow on the inside, I think. So, oop. one moment, please.
All right, thank you for being patient. That was my best friend giving me a quick buzz. Um, I just wanted to make sure she was doing okay. So my apologies, but I'm back now. So it's all good. So yeah, I do think I like this because when you open it, it'll be a surprise on the inside. Um, that there's a beautiful rainbow tree. Of course, anybody who wins it will know there's a rainbow tree on the inside, but I think uh, if they decided to give it away to somebody else, that would be kind of a nice nice thing to do. So, I think this is, this is pretty good. That's probably going to be its design then. So, sweet. Got that one done. Probably going to give that away on Monday now. Um... I have a neat new raffle uh, ability to do raffles in, in chat now. So I start on Monday at 5 and go until about 6.30 or 7. So that should be most excellent. Yeah, I'm just kind of wondering what we should work on next. I didn't anticipate getting this card done so quick. So. Oh, decisions. I suppose we could do some more snowflake cards, but. I'm kind of wondering if I shouldn't raise that up. goodness. Phone's ringing off the hook. So yeah, so these are dots and uh, they're really super cool. They all give a three-dimensional look to this. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to put some dots on the back side of this. As you can see, I've used a lot of them so far. making the snowflake cards because all the snowflake cards had, were raised up by these dots. And you can get square dots or put it this way. See if I can get this to orient right. That's pretty good. So let's see now it's slightly three dimensional. Raises off the paper a little. I think that's a really cool look. So I may have a tape runner here and get this done. Do those there. I have an Elmer's tape runner. So, yep, still sticky. And these have replacements. You just replace all the innards. So. I'm not real versed with these, if you can't tell. Like these, sh it should just go, <laughs> but. Usually I use like <clears throat> double-sided tape tape, like 3M double-sided tape. Let's see. 
Is that going to be sticky enough? We're going to find out. There we go. See if that'll stay. Oh yeah, that's sticking. It has a little cap on it so the sticky stuff doesn't get all over the place. <clears throat> I thought I had a snowflake punch. If I did, I'd put some little snowflakes around the big snowflake. But there, I think that's all ready. So... The funny thing about my phone going off, though, is that I could have sworn I turned the volume off. So, apparently I did not. We should make another one of these, I think. They're so pretty. Put that right there for now. Grab an envelope. Is this dry yet? Dry enough. Put that there so it matches. And then, oh, we already did the homemade buy on the back. That one is ready to go. more cards. Well, we should put one of these on there. That's for sure. Oh, well, I may call it for tonight. Um, there's like a ton of stuff I want to make, but it would require like minutes and minutes of cleaning up and reorganizing. And I don't want to put you guys through that. So Thank you for joining with me tonight, though, and uh, for a bonus stream, episode 5.5. It'll be going up on YouTube shortly. Um, if you have any questions, you can shoot me an email at zenithjcreates at gmail.com. Uh, feel free to visit my website for jewelry. Um, that's zenithjcreations.com. Yeah, so I'd love to hear from you. Uh, yeah, and hopefully you'll join me tomorrow for more making of stuff. So see you tomorrow.